Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Apocalypse. We are um, returning home from a mission on an alien escort ship, if I remember correctly. And, uh, well, it, it went well. We just had to find that last mega spawn who were, you know, hiding in plain sight because we couldn't see its head. I know, logic. But anyway, we are also researching a live one, which is fantastic. We are researching boomeroids. Yep. We are building toxin type B. And just waiting for time to pass. There are new people we can hire, maybe. 92, no, nope, no new people, Boomeroid, the Boomeroid is a devastating and terrifying weapon, it's actually a semi-intelligent device that hurls itself towards any moving organic target, and then explodes when it reaches a preset range, Boomeroid has to be primed for explosion proximity as well as time delay, Oh, lovely. Next up, UFO Type 9, because we want that Annihilator. And Mega Spawn is almost done, and Toxic Type B is done, which means that we are going to build two new Retaliators. Because we can. And we're gonna sell some stuff. Mainly, uh, well, <laughs> weapons we don't need. Uh, toxic guns I'm gonna keep. Disruptor guns I'm gonna keep. Boomeroid, hello. Insufferable launcher, entropy launchers. Vortex mines I'm not gonna sell. Not shields. Entropy pods. Let's see here. By the way, we have how many people in this thing? 25. And we have no wounded people. Which makes me think that we need to move people over from here to our base but I think our game is messing with me and uh, it randomly kicks out a uh, soldier when I'm you know firing people okay where are you going To me, apparently. Okay. You will hopefully soon regret that. Attacking our neighbors. Well, well, we're going to fight. Because, you know, we don't like them. But, um, you guys don't need to be here now. You can still stay down here. And guard this area. As long as you don't blow up the, um, town I'm, I'm I'm okay which means that I should probably remove your uh, missile launcher Ooh, 
Whoops. Uh. Oh, Nutrivin and Lifery are now allied with me. That's awesome. Oh well. Uh, Mega Spawn. Hi. It is difficult to disable the Mega Spawn's weapon system because they are inter interesting part of its structure. One weapon uses energy beams while the other fires a powerful organic missile, which is generated by specialized organs. Our tests also conclude that the Mega Spawn is protected from psionic attacks. Well, whoop de doo. We're not really gonna try and, you know, mind control them. Not today, anyway. Uh, Thursday, and the uh, game didn't crash. Awesome, which means that I'm gonna do a backup save because it crashed last time I tried to record. And music, Maestro. Thank you. Uh, let's see, we are sort of waiting on an alien attack. Oh, right. People! Jane Robinson. There we go. Do we have... Ooh, 98. I like it. And nothing there. Okay. that are raiding now. Okay, where are you? Wrong person. And you can't get home because... Apparently the um, tube system is damaged. I wonder what happened. And let's see here. Can pick you up. And then we return home. We should actually, you know, build a uh, explorer, not a probe because probes are useless. Explorers do actually have weapons on them. Jane Robinson. Here you go. I still wonder where that, you know, pistol comes from. And the armor. Well, we had a full team once, but you are to be named Mephatu. And you're a rookie. Megaspawn Autopsy. The Megaspawn is essentially a huge organic weapons platform. It has two distinct weapon systems grown into its body, although these must be added artificially. The nervous system is directly connected to them, suggesting that the creature is solely a genetically engineered combat unit. No way. Who is the worst? You are. Otto Hafner. Two units fired. Why does it say two units fired? I'm not really sure what's happening. like you know taking one when it says two you know what let's do 
a um, let's do a quick save again, just to see what happens. Twenty-seven. Wait a minute. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Where did we get that other guy? Well, um, wrong button. Brain is not working properly at the moment. Two units fired. Now it says twenty six of twenty eight. So apparently we kicked someone. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Which of course means that I'm gonna re reload because I don't feel like kicking someone at the moment. This is really, really strange. Now I have to check if we got Nefati. We did. Okay, good. And next up is. Mel Wayne. And let's see. I think that's everything I need to do at the moment. UFO Type 9, Alien Battleship. This immense craft is heavily armored, well armed, and has a large crew. It is equipped with a heavy disruptor beam and disruptor missiles. If the aliens can produce just a handful of these devastating leviathans, the future of our world looks bleak. No, not really. Mainly because, well, we got annihilators coming up. And if we can build just a few of those, well, they are screwed. Uh, 43%, which means that one is almost done. Do we have new people? Well, yes, we do. Now, quick question. Quick question. 27 of 28, which means one goes to this base, the other goes to, well, the other base. Uh, by the way, we have a large one here, so five. Let's start with 87, 85, 80, 78, 73, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, that should be it. I want. Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. First, first and foremost, give me the correct base. One hundred percent. And let's see here. The problem with the uh, production of the retaliators is, of course, that. small one here too okay uh, it means that we also have to build new well weapons for it them 94 you kick 95 
let's do something like this. What we need to build here? I'm thinking about building... Hmm... Toxin type B. Nope, let's build a couple of Toxicons first. We need... Eight, I think. sucks though that they won't move on their own when you know the time actually or when the things are repaired and by logic this guy, one of them, should be going to our main base. Still wrong button. Absolutely wrong button. And let's see, where are you? There you are. You should go to main base. I think. I hope. Not quite sure, but... I think that's the case. Return to base. And... Where are you? All the way to the bottom. You are... Hereby known as... And... Tony... Brown. You're gonna get some armor. That also reminds me that we should probably build some uh, XCOM armor soon. Annihilator. The ultimate expression of XCOM technology of mean, fast, and devastating craft, which, if properly equipped, is more than a match for the biggest alien attack ships. The Annihilator will help secure XCOM domination of the alien dimension. Oh yeah. Okay, so now it doesn't really matter what we uh, research. We want, of course, the um, heavy destructor beam because the Annihilator. But um, we could build stuff like, well, I don't know, vortex mines, because why not? Because we might need them, and it's a new day once again. We have uh, new people, and what about technicians? Actually, quick check, quick check. Can people move? Yes, they can. Problem is, of course, that... Um, we need to kick people. Too bad it doesn't say whether they are in base or not. Anatoly. Anatoly, Anatoly, Anatoly. Let's 
see it here. The one you expired. Thank you. You are Marielle Gautier. You are a quantum physicist, I think. Which, of course, means that you are here. Thank you. Now, let's see... Who are you? A mechanic... Jacques Lefeu. Where are you? Probably here? Yes, you are. Are there more people? Yes, James Robinson. Probably in this base? Yep. Or, you're not in the base, but you should be in that base. Now I think we have kicked all the people who uh, should have come here. And it's also time for me to um, wrap up the episode. So thank you guys for watching and I will continue this tomorrow. Bye bye.